Welcome, have a seat. Today we're going to be measuring uh, and gauging your interest in different glasses or sunglasses, depending on what you're interested in. I know that summer's getting closer, so I could see you probably wearing some sunglasses, prescription sunglasses, that is. So, what I'm going to do is just show you a array of different options. If you like any of them, just let me know, and we can get you set up with a prescription. So, uh, we'll be trying them on. I'll be adjusting the arms of the uh, glasses as well as the nose pieces to better fit your face and acquire your uh, image. So, uh, make yourself comfortable. If there's any questions you have during this process, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. Um, and I appreciate you coming in and letting me do this to your face today. So, let's go ahead and start with a couple of our options here, okay? I'll be cleaning these as we go as well. The first option I have here. It's a very vintage style of Persol sunglasses. So these are sort of a 1970s Hollywood style. Bring them a little closer so you can take a better look. As you can see, these have a turtle shell pattern. A very nice bronze lens. Sort of goes with any style. As you can see here, no UV and blue light, and a nice silver accent there across the arm of the frames. So it's also got a stylized gap here to polish you up with that 1970s vintage look. These are pretty cool sunglasses. Very stylish and sort of in fashion currently. So let's go ahead and see what you look like with these on, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead and turn your head to the side for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think these fit your face very well. We don't want to sell you on the first pair, although these are pretty neat. So, that's the first pair. Um, again, if you decide that you really like something, we can adjust it to your face and make sure it fits comfortably. The last thing you want is a headache when you're trying to wear some sunglasses. I think these did look very good on you. I'll set these to the side. We'll put them in our yes bin. Moving on to our second pair. These are a little bit more modern, but not too much. Just sort of a nice flex between like a 1980s vintage Ray-Ban and a sort of a modern uh, fit Oakley, which is what these are, Oakley. Um, these come in this nice protective case. Logo we'll there. You could sort of use the case to clean the frame since it's a microfiber cloth. And these are nice, bold, and uh, sort of a simplistic. Design. It sort of takes some flair from the traditional Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but sort of 
Oakley's modernized twist on them. Again, injected molded frames, so there's no separate nose pieces. So they'll sort of slide down your bridge, but the arms on these do a really good job at securing via these little red uh, rubberized tabs there. And these are just really nice. Probably one of my favorite pairs. I'll try them on for you so you can see what they look like on me, and then we'll check them out on you, okay? So, nice teardrop feature with a nice overarching brow there. Um, fit real snug into the sides of the face so you're not getting a big wide, you know, um, um, profile. And as someone with a thinner face like you and I, these seem to fit. So, we'll go ahead and put these on you. A little bit of dirt on the lens. I'll clean these up a little bit for us here. Okay, so we'll just pop these on. Like so. Let's take a look at you here. Just look right at me. I like these a lot. These actually look really sharp on you. Go ahead and turn your head to the side for me. Let's get a closer look here and see how they're sort of fitting into your uh, dimples there and your sideburn area. Mm. Yeah, these are. These really look, really look good on you. I like these a lot. Let's make an adjustment there on the arm on these. Okay. You look right at me again. Huh. Yeah, these are nice. These are really nice. I could see you wearing these as well. To be honest, your face is flattering in both options, so if you decide to get more than one pair, I can give you a special offer, okay? Alright. Don't tell my other clients, though, okay? Special between you and I. So we'll just put these back in here, and I'll keep a mental note of the pairs you're interested in. Okay, so our uh, third option, we're going to switch it up a little bit. These are actually uh, dead stock, meaning not available anymore um, on the market. These are sort of a one of one and an actual 1976 or 7 vintage pair of sunglasses. They're more of a gradient uh, glass though, um, not completely tinted, but not uh, optical uh, prescription glass either. So. I need to clean these off, actually. They're kind of dirty. So these are, for lack of better words, um, have you seen the documentary Dahmer? Yeah, these kind of look like those. Um, outside of that, they're very stylish. Um, definitely give you a vintage, authentic 70s image. Um, these particular ones are missing a nose, uh, plastic nose piece there. Obviously, I can get that replaced for you if you choose to purchase these one-off uh, sort of bespoke frames. But here, try them on so you can sort of see what they look like on me. And right off the bat, you can sort of tell that they give you a very vintage look. Um, sort of more shaded at the top, dropping down to a more clear 
uh, gradient lines at the bottom, and they sort of make you look like a uh, like a 60s or 70s mobster, to be frank, um, which is that's what you're going for. Very good look. Um, these have uh, a nice stainless steel arm there, uh, brushed stainless steel, and then a um, sort of a like the like the bristles, uh, the bridge gap with the straight line on the top, uh, sort of um, consistent with that that 1970s uh, you know look that. A lot of people go for these days. Um, these are include a uh, a rubberized um, L-shaped arm, if you will, to sort of contour with the ear and allow for uh, sort of a non-slip wear. Moreover, and again, these have the bridge there. Um, one one is missing, obviously, but easily replaced, and this is going to allow you to sort of customize how the glasses fit um, to your bridge of your nose and allow you to sort of wear these in a more active setting without them slipping off your face if you um, get a little bit, you know, sweaty or whatnot, so. Uh, again, uh, sort of a squared off uh, tier at the bottom there and at the tops, um, really just a, a vintage signature look here. All right. Yeah, those are some of my favorite ones too. You can take a look in the mirror if you wish. Yeah, th these always make me feel like I'm uh, in a movie or something, like role playing a character, if you will. Yeah, yeah, they're fun. Definitely fun. A fun option, different than you see, uh, sort of around town and whatnot. Out in public, people sort of stick to the same uh, traditional Ray-Ban style or aviator style, something like that, um, really makes a statement, especially if you're willing to, um, sort of lean into uh, the person who would wear something uh, like that. Yeah. These are some of my favorite ones, for sure. So we'll put these off to the side as well. We've got two more options, then we'll pick out which one you like the most and get, get it fit for your face. Um, our fourth option, <laughs> Lost Track, is a very classy, traditional style pair of prescription eyeglasses. Um, these right here, uh, very elegant, very sort of um, elegant, a, a, a class, very classy, uh, sort of timeless uh, pair of glasses, very simple, uh, refined, and um, although they are uh, simple, sort of elegant, classy, they are not as loud as some of the other pairs, so, you know, some of my more prominent uh, business men and women like these a lot. Um, they just sort of sit well on the face, pair with a very sophisticated look. I'll try them on for you so you can see what they look like on me. Just a very uh, sort of sophisticated, um, proper pair of eyewear, if you will. They make you look a little smart. show you some of the details on these. So, as you can see here, these are polished um, silver frames. I believe it's the 925 Purity Silver, so very rugged, very sort of sheen and um, classy. As you can see, the um, shape of the optics themselves are sort of oblong, oval, uh, more circular than elongated, but a slight tear there towards the 
arms and then again down towards the bottom and slightly ever so slightly flattened up top with a very minimalistic and refined um, bridge connection there again these do have the uh, rubberized nose pieces there to get an exact fit for your specific bridge of your nose um, and Again, just a slightly oval uh, lens there. Not completely flat, not, not uh, completely convex. Just sort of a nice uh, refined prescription glass will fit in these. So, go ahead and put these on you. And, yeah, these are sharp. Very sharp pair of glasses. And I do I think they fit your face well. Not again, not as uh, sort of a statement piece as some of the last uh, options that you looked at, but they are uh, really slick and they look nice on you. Yeah, and I like these too. So I'll put these to the side. Our last pair is very similar to these um, by a reputable company called the Ray-Ban. These are sort of a timeless style. So we will get these cleaned up a little for you here. And these sort of give that uh, 1980s um, Miami Dade County kind of kind of look. You may get mistaken for a criminal or a cop wearing these, but I happen to find them very uh, very nice, very clean, very uh, sophisticated. So, uh, yeah, yeah, these are fun. Um, sort of a gold uh, frame across the uh, arms as well as across the front of the frame, top to bottom, and even across the bridge with a uh, sort of stippled hatching to sort of gather light. Uh, at any given angle, you might see it glisten off the frames on these because of that stippled creates different angles uh, of view, so again, very stylized, sophisticated golden arm with a, again, uh, opaque um, rubberized grip there to go around your ears, catch your, your head real well without them slipping. Um, show you there's sort of a maybe you can see that a little bit there's sort of a stylized stippling uh, differentiating from the arms further down to catch the light real well um, same with the tops of the frames uh, sort of see the reflection there and the bottoms and then smooth across the surface there a beautiful inlet golden uh, bridge piece there with some beautiful stylized stippling across the face of that as well as the rubberized nose pieces there to get sort of a perfect fit and then obviously our signature white Ray-Ban signature there at the top corner and then just a timeless black smoke lens there to undoubtedly sort of accent any outfit you happen to be wearing. So we'll go ahead and put these on you, see how you like them. Mm, yeah, these are nice too. 
yeah. It's going to be hard to pick. Definitely. But that's, that's a good pair. Looks like sort of a... I don't know, I'd probably give it like a 7.5 out of 10 as far as just matching your face goes. It's really nice. Not as good as some of the other ones. And we have similar faces, so I kind of feel the same with these. Just sort of depends on how you're feeling. They have their spot, not for sure, but maybe not for this trip, so. We'll place these off to the side. The pair that you like the most. You like the vintage 70s pair. The dead stock ones and the bristles. So let's go ahead and just we'll get measurements for one of them, and then uh, that way I have your measurements and we can make adjustments without you having to sit here and uh, suffer through my boredom. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our bristles back out here. these cleaned up for you. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and get those put back on your face. And get our toolkit up here. This is gonna uh, adjustments or two. Make sure that the, the arms of the glasses aren't um, too tight against your temple to cause headaches or anything. And we just want to make sure that oh, we've got the slack and the tension sort of perfect on those so that they're not slipping off your face either. So just a couple micro adjustments. Again, with those nose pieces on these glasses are injected molded, so there's no adjustments to be made there. They should sort of uh, ride towards the middle of your bridge, maybe a little higher, depending on how you like them appearing on your face. Um, and then we'll go over the, the arm adjustment to make sure that they're not slipping off your nose. So, got a little toolkit here, we're gonna just...
Number two here. Sort of nod your head a couple times, a little quicker. Just make sure they're not slipping. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. How does that feel over here on this side? Get you to sort of no head bang, obviously. Uh, they're gonna fall off if you do that, but like sort of like a natural head movement. Figure A, go around a circle, yeah. Okay, do you notice this coming loose at all? Just a little bit, okay. here in my head. I'll go ahead and get that other pair done for you. We'll set you up. Uh, you should go grab a coffee down the street if you want on me. Obviously, I know the owner. And uh, by the time you get back, um, I'll have both pairs of glasses for you and you can be on your way. But uh, genuinely, my friend, if I don't see you by the time you get back to pick up your glasses, I do appreciate you coming through and letting me uh, sort of help you select uh, the summer wear for your face. Yeah, don't mention it at all. It's always fantastic to see you, and I hope you have a beautiful, fantastic rest of your, uh, your week. All right, see you too. Bye.